So the first thing I want to say is on the subject of the music, here's a little clip of the Jonas Brothers music. And forgive me, but is this not actually not very good pop music? I mean, it's not busted, is it? And in fact, even well, no well, way. Is it's, that the standard? I think it is. It busted. is. No, I think it's not. I mean, I think that it's is better the standard. than busted. Do you think they're better than busted? I think busted are the kind of the gold star of the, you know, the the young person's Thunderbird theme, you know, something for everyone. Power pop. Well. No, oh, I don't know. It's okay, difficult. it's a difficult comparison. No, it's not because it's the kind of comparison. Look, it's very as you know. If you read the broadsheets, right? It's like, oh, it's a stupid pop, you know, made by Disney, blah, 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 blah. But you have to judge this for, for the audience for whom it is, and that's what I'm wrestling with. Um, so, I, firstly, I don't think the music is very good. On the, to some extent, you could say they're the modern monkeys. The difference between them and the monkeys is that they write their own songs. I mean, I stayed to the end of the credits, and certainly their names are credited on the songs. Hence, the songs aren't actually that good. I mean, the thing with the monkeys was they didn't write their own songs. They didn't play on most of them. The songs were brilliant. They got in really brilliant songwriters like Neil Diamond and all that. But they got in, you know, great musicians. I mean, if you look at things like What Am I Doing Hanging Around? I mean, they were playing a little bit and they were singing a little bit. And then later on in their career, around some headquarters, they kind of took over and wanted to do more of their own stuff. But there was the thing when they were constructed as a bubblegum pop band, they had brilliant composers. And I was thinking, if this is the modern monkeys, then we have lost something because there's no daydream believers in there. There, there isn't any thing that that's I mean even like shades of gray there's nothing that has that kind of classic ring to it I don't know that in 20 years time people will be listening in afternoon radio to oh here's so and so by the Jonas Brothers it's and going, McFly it is it is oh, McFly that... were quite good were quite a good decent well, I band I didn't I didn't come out of the Jonas Brothers and thinking that it was awful I just no no thought, no, well, no, if, I, you, no if this is the kind you know if you are 14 you know you're gonna like Simon it. don't get me wrong I'm not saying it's I awful that's not. no that's the point I mean obviously it's not awful because it's an incredibly professional show for a start they've got an army of musicians on stage they all sort of variously playing and changing guitars but you're sure that if any of them stopped playing or changing guitars you wouldn't notice the music would obviously carry on there's a larger bloke with a hat who's clearly doing all the fiddly guitar work there's a, always one other guy doing the drums there's an army of people on stage with cellos and violins and in fact there's one scene of them sound checking which they appear to be sound checking to a backing track and I'm sure that they that they're that they may be musically competent there's one tantalizing moment in the film when they go into a radio so to go and do an acoustic session but then you never see the acoustic session I was thinking oh, this is going to be the moment when they suddenly demonstrate they can play the banjo and they can do all that other stuff because like for example you know, most country and western musicians, great country and western musicians, who at the age of, you know, Dolly Parton's family, at the age of 14, there wasn't a single one of them that couldn't play an Appalachian nose flute while twiddling a banjo and playing an accordion behind their neck because everybody did that. And I'm sure that the Jonas Brothers come from some tradition of that, but there was no evidence of it in the movie. You kept thinking at any point if their guitars fell off or something, you, you wouldn't notice. Point number one. Point number two. That was just point number yeah. one. Point number two. As far as the three, no, I want How to take, I want to do there? this seriously. How many point number two. There? Three. Okay. Point number two, as far as the 3D romping around concert footage is concerned, okay, what the 3D does is, as, as Bonio said, puts you on stage with a band. In the case of you 2 can't be bothered. In the case of this, fine, because we don't get sanctimonious lectures. Um, but the 3D effect is largely that hug has worn off, hasn't it? running forward to the front of the stage and running backwards, and then running and tumbling forward to the front of the stage and then running and tumbling backwards, and occasionally somersaulting. And then at one point, they stand on podiums that go up in the air. And they stand on podiums like that, and then the podiums come down. I was quite afeared for their safety, but then it turned out they had harnesses on that sort of attached them to the podiums, like dolls, like they were they were literally life-size doll versions of themselves. And so there was a whole weird Stepford thing going on, and yet they're obviously you know nice young kids. I'm sure they're nice. I hope they're nice. One of them, the singer guy, annoys me a little bit because he's a bit full of it and he's desperate. He's doing a sort of rather. Is that the cur there's curly haired Jonas and there's two straight haired Jonas? There's Kevin who looks like Michael Nesmith and therefore I liked him because you know Michael. He's got Nesmith. a woolly hat on. No, no, he's got uh, he's got curly hair oh, and, curly and, and, and the side is like that. There's the guy who looks like Kinani Nunu with the straight, straight hair, hair who's with, always got the cap t-shirt and is very very pleased with himself and he's doing that romping around stage in the sub Bob Geldof doing an impression of uh, Mick Jagger. You know, it's there's an awful lot of walking like that. You know. Or awful, mincing. Yeah, but that kind of, that a lot of that, a lot of it, hey, look, but I'm not singing anything at the moment, so I'll just do a little bit of walk. And a lot of sort of rampaging crowds. And of course, the thing that everybody knows about the Jonas Brothers is that they are, you know, they're they're not very good. No, no, not that. Is that they're in, in theory well behaved, pristine, you know, clean cut boys. Yes. There is a moment in the Jonas Brothers 3D movie. You've seen the movie, right? Yes, I think that's in obvious. which the Jonas Brothers stand at the front of the stage in 3D. 
and spray the crowd with foam. Yeah. I'm just going to put that on the table. I'm just going to leave because they stand. We're going to put it on the table because for? they they come out to the front of the crowd. Yeah. They and they've got their the, foam. The, the the foam guns. Yeah. And the the foam spray. Crazy foam, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, now you've put it on the table. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going. It? Here's what it is. I'm not going anywhere near. I'm inviting the audience to fill in the blanks for themselves. What I'm saying is there is a really strange thing going on between. On the one hand, you're weird. No, I'm not you weird. Are... I'm no, I'm not weird. I'm. I'm saying that there is this. If that... you're going to be sprayed with something, what would you rather be sprayed with? Foam from a Jonas brother or your beer and spit? Because someone's told a funny. What joke. would I rather be sprayed yeah. with? My beer and spit. <laughs> It's the thing is that in the end, the whole point about the rock and roll performance with the low slung guitars and the bragging around and the waving your, you know, your booty in the air and the spraying the audience with the creamy foam gun is all slightly, it, it's like... Slightly what? What is it slightly? <laughs> it's just slightly troubling is what it is. Well, it and, never, and, 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 and here's the, the honest truth of me. I had less trouble with Hannah Montana than I did with the Jonas Brothers.